Today I'm going to show you how you can make a mask out of a fabric. So I will be starting designing the template and then put the template over the fabric to cut the fabric to make the mask. So the first thing I will design drawing the template and then the second steps is to put that template on top of the fabric to cut the fabric and then the final step is to sew the mask so stay tuned and I will show you how you can make your own mask to protect the COVID-19 after you watch this video you should be able to create it the template and apply that template to make your own mask. So hope this video will help you along the way. Okay, um, so now I have drawn a rectangular with seven inch in width and six and a half inch in height okay so um i have my rectangular drawn and i'm gonna mark i'm going to mark my vertical line on each vertical line over here so the next thing I'm going to use a different marker which is the blue one I'm going to try to mark my horizontal line so the first one will start at one inch the second one will start, will start at two and a half inch so it's right here the third line will start at four and a half inch so which is around here okay i'm gonna mark this on the top and i'm gonna move down to the bottom doing the same thing so i will do this at the bottom also so I'll do that okay I have one inch, two and a half, and four and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my vertical line from top to bottom. And same thing over here. Okay. All right. So I have all my vertical lines across the board. Now it's time to draw my horizontal lines. So the, I'm going to draw my um, horizontal line across this board right here so the first one starting at two inch the second line start at four and a half um the last line start at five and a half so five and a half is around here okay so i'm going to do the same thing on the left side so, um, excuse me. Okay. All right. So it's first line start at two, second at four and a half, and the last line is start 
it starts at five and a half. Okay. Now it's time to draw the um, horizontal line. Horizontal line. The last, uh, the last two lines. Um, draw the last two lines right here. The um, last two lines down here. Make it quick. Okay. Down here, through here. Okay. All right. So now it's time. Um, to draw the template and I'm going to use this um, black marker uh, normally you don't use this um, but I just want to use this so you clearly see what my lines are so in when you design your own you can use any type of pen or pencil or uh, let's say um, any marker whatever you want but the reason I'm using this so that you can see clearly what I have on, on this board right here. So right now I'm going to start drawing the uh, mask uh, template or pattern. So we're going to draw from the top and ends in the bottom line. From the top line to the bottom line. Like this. Okay. And then from here to number two on to the two and a half inch over here. All right, so I'm going to draw right here. Okay, then draw at the bottom too, so you kind of see where that black mark is. Is so I'm going to do that Go all the way to this one. Okay. And then from this point, you're going to draw a line straight to this, where this is, um, let's mark this thing right here. This one, let's mark with um, the correct color here. So this two inch, four and a half, and this five and a half. So um, let's mark over here too. One inch, um, two and a half, and four and a half. Okay, so you kind of have idea uh, what this looks like. All right, so. Gonna draw a line from here to this line right here. Okay. Okay. Now make this line to connect over there. And same thing, you're gonna draw a black line over here so you know where this looks like. Okay, and same thing on the top. You can draw a line right here so you kind of know what that line is going to be. Okay, just like that. Okay, so um, once you draw this one, now it's time to make the curve line over here, here, down here, and also down here. So for that, I'm going to use a pencil first and then I will mark with the black marker so you can see clearly what I'm talking about. Okay, now I'm going to use the pencil to draw my curve line. So I'm going to start from here, from this angle. I'm trying to create the perfect or very nice curve line over here. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do that first, so you kind of have an idea how to draw that, uh, how to draw that curve line. 
it's over here I have to do I have to draw from here to make a curved line over here too so just like that going there and same thing over here to make a curved line starting from this point Okay. You can have idea. Normally use pencil. If you make mistake, you can always go back and erase it. Okay, so you use pencil to trace uh, where the lines is going to be, and then you can use your uh, marker, this marker, to draw the line. So I'm gonna draw a line along the pencil marker okay, and draw this line okay and then I'm gonna draw this in this curve line on the side also okay all right now it's time to cut the template so the way I want to cut I can cut from any angle uh, I suggest that you can cut from any angle that you you feel comfortable doing that. So for me, I, I'm going to start cutting from here and go this way, top, down here, and then come down here. So let's stay tuned and let me show you how I cut it, okay? Okay, now I have cut the, the rest of the cardboard out. And when you start drawing, uh, normally, it would be best if you can get more room like what I have right here. You have more room on the top and on the side where you can write down um, whatever information in here, it's like a seven inch, six and a half inch over here. That way you can have an idea which side is the longer side. So um, um, when I got this uh, square created, I mean this rectangular created, now it's time to cut the template based on the line that I, the black line that I draw on each corner or on each side. So I'm going to start, like I said, I'm going to start from the bottom. But like I tell you earlier that, um, like I told you earlier that you can cut from any angle. You can start from any angle, whichever make more sense for you or whatever easier for you. So I'm going to start from the bottom going around this. And you can make a little bit extra just in case you make a mistake, you will have time to correct it. And then um, right here, you can make a little more room down here. Make more room down here so when you sew, you have more room to sew on this corner right here. Don't make a sharp angle right here because when you do that, when you sew um, or you want to do the top stitch, it will be hard for you to do that. So make sure you get a little bit of room over here. Don't make too much um, uh, of room down there. So I'm going to do something like this. Okay. All right. Cut. Normally you cut outside of the line. This, like I said, it will give you more room to correct it in case you make mistake. I don't want you to spend a lot of time on it, and then when you cut it, and then you cut the wrong template or whatever. So make sure you cut outside of the template. Okay, so what I measure, I measure from the um, right line over here. So I go on the top, I mean, I go a little bit on the top, cut a little bit on the top, go across the right line. And on this side, on this side, cut a little bit of, a little bit outside of the, um, template just to give you more room for mistake to correct mistakes okay and down here you can do that too okay all right so you're gonna do that
Okay. Okay. And come on this side, like I said, um, cut the little piece on this side to make it more room for you to start sewing or um, do stitches. Okay. So um, this is what it looks like when you finish the template and I'm going to use this template to uh, cut my uh, cloth or my fabric and I will show you that on the next um, or on the next steps of the videos okay now I'm going to uh, cut a template to measure the fabric so the template is um, six and a half by 14 inch. Once I got this uh, cardboard cut off, I will use this as a template to cut the fabric to make the uh, face mask. And then you cut along the line. Now put the template over the, over the fabric and trace along the template. I'm using a red pen so you can see uh, things clearly on camera but in a real production don't use any red pen or any permanent marker like what I'm doing right here okay as you can see I have traced a red line over the piece of fabric now let's start cutting the fabric as uh, I traced with the template so like I said, um, don't use any permanent marker or red pen or whatever, just like what I've shown you. In a real production, use any pencil or anything that is washable. Okay, now let's fold this piece of fabric in half. Okay, you fold in half and put the mask template on top of the fabric and trace along the template over the fabric okay make a little dot right here and then I'm gonna make some more dots across the, the piece of fabric Okay, so when you cut, make sure you don't make a sharp angle right here. Leave enough room in there so when you sew over, it will be easier to sew. Then cut the rest of the uh, piece off. Okay, so once you finish cutting the other side, now it's time to separate the um, two pieces of fabric. Okay, and then now cut in the center where the um, line is. So you cut in there. And that's piece number one. This is piece number two. So I'm going to cut along the dot lines. This will be piece number two. So piece number one and piece number two. Okay, so you're going to need to piece off this one right here to make um, the filter. So one piece will go to the left and the other piece will go to the right to make the filter for this uh, mess right here. And you're going to need uh, to piece off uh, this one to make the lining. Uh, for the um, mask so the lining is between the outer layer and then uh, and the um, filter right here and you're going to need to piece up this one right here to make the outer layer so one piece go to the left one piece go to the right same thing so you're going to need a total of six pieces two pieces from each of these to make uh, uh, the mask. 
So the mess is consists of three layers. The outer layers, the lining, and the filter. Okay, so let's start uh, putting this uh, piece of uh, fabric together. So go ahead and start sewing uh, the side piece. So um, you will have to fold this piece in about quarter inch on the side and sew over this piece where you fold it. These two pieces will be used as the pocket to hold the filter. Once you finish with this one, you're going to start with the next piece the same way. Once you finish sewing the side uh, of these two pieces, then it's time to um, attach uh, these two pieces uh, together. Like I said, this will be used uh, to hold uh, the filter for the mask. So before you sew, make sure everything outlined uh, perfectly so that way uh, when piece is not is not longer than the other piece so everything aligned perfectly and everything is equally in length once you finish uh, sewing you will have to iron on the piece so uh, everything looks good so just no wrinkle or pleat anything like that Let's move on to um, the uh, lining or the inner piece. Um, you will have to fold um, like what I sh told you before. You can pre-iron, then like uh, you fold it first, you iron, so that when you sew, you don't have to hold uh, or you don't have to fold again. So this will save you a lot of time um, by folding and then sewing at the same time. This piece will be uh, the uh, inner layer or the lining. And as you can see, you're folding and then you iron it. Let's do the same thing on the outer piece. This is the outer layer. Pre-iron will, will save you a lot of time uh, while sewing. Okay, so it's ready to um, put put together. All right. So um, once again, you will have to do a top stitch over this uh, inner center piece at the center. Um, this way it will uh, make this uh, pocket looks uh, better or it will stand out. Once you finish, uh, do the top stitch over this piece, it will look um, perfectly uh, fit into your nose and face. So it will turn into an oval. As you can tell, it's starting to look uh, nicer. Now it's time to start um, putting on um, the, the lining together. Yep, 
yeah, you will have to cut uh, that piece away so you can have room to sew the uh, the next one. Yeah, um, when you sew, make sure you sew it about quarter inch uh, on the right side. So you do a little bit um back tack and then start sewing. And this is the uh, piece that you okay it's time to put the pocket and the lining to together. This is how the uh, pocket facing up. You put the lining down and then put the uh, pocket on top of the lining and make sure both both bed sides are facing down and both the lining and pocket seams are aligned with each other and then start sewing on the uh, side. Make sure you leave about one eighth of inch on the seam. And also while you're sewing, make sure both seams still are aligned with each other. And make sure there's no preet or wrinkle while sewing. As you can see, it make a perfect angle right here for um, the nose. Once you finish one side, and then you can move for the next side. And start doing the same thing. Make sure everything outline, and then leave about one eighth of inch for the seam. And this is how it looks after you finish sewing on both sides. Okay, uh, this piece is done. So moving to um, the next one. You're going to put the good side of the um, outer layer with the good side of the um, filter, filter. And then start sewing and attaching all three pieces together and always check to make sure all three layers on the same align with each other okay and make sure there's no pleat or wrinkle Okay, once you finish one side, then you can move to the next side. And you can cut off any excessive uh, thread. Okay, you can um, make sure um, this edge is still aligned perfectly. Same thing on this side. Make sure the seam are aligned with each other. And then start sewing on the side. Do a little bit of back tack before you start sewing forward. 
always check um, um, the seams to make sure everything outlined before you start sewing forward. Always, always check to make sure everything online before you finish in sewing. Okay, make sure every piece are aligned with each other from left to right, from front to back. Okay, uh, just finishing attaching uh, these three pieces together. And like I said, cut any excessive uh, thread. And you can see that both the back side of the uh, inner layers and outer layers are facing out for the time being. Now it's time to turn things around. But when you turn things around, make sure you pull on. Um, the outer piece and use your fingers inside their uh, pocket to um, make sure everything pull out perfectly. So once you pull everything out, you should see the pocket is facing uh, to you and the outer layer should be uh, at the bottom, just like you see right here. And fold, make sure everything outlined. And as you can see, everything online in the center. So uh, we're going to do the final thing by putting another uh, stitch over um, the seam so that everything will stick together. So when you wear the mask, the inner side is not showing up uh, outside of the uh, face mask. Okay, make sure you leave about one half or three quarter inch. Um, this will be used later on for the ear band. And when you're doing this, make sure you uh, pull everything straight. There's no wrinkle or pleat while sewing. Once again, leave about three quarter inch for the air band, and then you can start sewing forward. And make sure it's in a nice or curve, both bottom and on the top. Okay, it's almost done. And as you can see, um, the chicken head should be facing up to your nose. 
and the bottom facing your chin. Now it's time to sew uh, the um, these two pieces together. So you can just fold about half to a three quarter inch, but make sure you don't block that uh, pocket door. Okay, let's start sewing. This will be used uh, to insert the uh, air band through this um, hole right there. Once you finish one side, then you can do on the next side, follow the same guideline. Make sure it does not block the um, pocket door. One way to make sure both um, sides are equally, you can fold in half and make sure the same is in the center. And then the side, make sure they align with each other before you start finish sewing. Okay, it is almost finished. So the next thing to do is to um, make the air band. Okay, this is the finished product. So the chicken head should be facing the nose the chick, chicken feet facing the chin and this is where you're going to insert the air band and this pocket here you can use uh, to insert any kind of filter on it you can use coffee filter or uh, napkin or whatever uh, filter you uh, prefer Now it's time to make the air band. For the air band, you can measure uh, to your air and see how much uh, air band you're going to need it. Since we could not find any elastic at the store, so we're going to use this yarn as the air band. So we're gonna tie a knot and then put a bamboo stick on it to insert into the uh, air band pocket. For the air band, uh, you can measure your air uh, from your face to your air and see what size fits you. Then you can adjust the size accordingly. If you're going to use uh, what we use right here, then you're going to tie uh, three knots tie the first one and make the second one make sure it's fairly tight and then make the final third knot Once you finish uh, tying the knot, then you're gonna cut it off uh, the excessive uh, uh, yarn. And repeat the same process on the other side. And once you finish tying on both uh, air band, then you're going to hide the knot inside the uh, air band pocket. Let's 
it's bound to finish once finishing this um, knots right here it should be finished okay um, so make sure they um, are equally in length and cut off uh, the uh, excessive uh, yarn now it's time to hide uh, the knot inside the uh, air band pocket okay and this is the finished product now it's time to insert the filter into the filter pocket you can use coffee filter or any type of napkin complete see this is perfect for my ear so whatever you make for yourself you can measure, measure the uh, ear band for yourself this is I measured for myself so it's perfect and when you you are wearing eyeglasses or safety glass it should sit up on top of the uh, your eyeglasses should sit up on top of the mask like this.